Well, the leaves, sure, they're there for a little bit longer. I'm not going to be here much. But uh, if they were, it'd be your lucky day because this thing has parallel venation. We haven't had a parallel venation where they come out at the bot all at one point at the bottom and they kind of come back in together at the top. So they come out That's and go cool. back in. And they follow each other parallel. That's called parallel veins, parallel venation. And, but they're they're falling off. Okay, so they're gone. Okay, here's what else then you want to remember. Extremely stiff, strong green stem that is angled. You can come up and grab it. Now you got to be careful because there's thorns all over it. They're angled stems, and they are like the tinsel strength of steel wire. <laughs> they are extremely strong, strong stems. Sharp prickle, and it climbs with tendrils, which are these modified stems. That there you go. It's a great. Thing. They curly cue. They lash around things. Those are little. Those are stems, actually, not roots. And they, when they hit something, they lash around it. And it often grows like someone dumped a spool of barbed wire. You're like. It's the nastiest thing to have to clip your way through. Like if you're painting boundary lines or following a compass line, and you're like, eh. usually what you want to do is go around it and then kind of start up again. But sometimes you got to hack it out of the way, and then depending on what you're doing. Uh, the fruit we'll look for, but the fruit is a very dark blue, navy blue, almost black, round berry. We'll we saw some yesterday. We just got to keep our eyes open. There's another big spool of it dumped on the hill there, basically. See the green? Yes. Now, a cool thing, and you would never think it, but it, take a look up here. Bit, bit off, bit off, bit off, bit off, bit off, bit off, bit, bit. <laughs> Every tip, bit, bit, whoop, survived. Very rare that they survive. When they sprout in the spring, and they're nice and succulent, uh, deer browse them, and you can eat the shoots. In fact, they're really good before they get hard. And in this class, when we do it in the winter, about on review day, two weeks, well, after a couple weeks from now, so in the, whenever that is in the spring, end of April, something like that, you can collect bags of these things. So the tender little shoots are coming out, and you just snap them off. And you just cook them like any you know, green bean or a pea or what you steam it. it. Like? You can put bacon in it. What? what does it taste like? It tastes like beans. It tastes like a green, a good green. They can be eaten fresh. We eat them. We, everybody samples them. We're like, we'll try it. Try it. Snap them off. And then they'll eventually they'll get bitter. And it's like when it gets hotter, it's like, yeah, stop eating it. And then they harden up into that thing. And that, so this, this is not when deer are biting this. They're biting it in the spring. But they will get every one of them because they're really good.